Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm in Shelby, North Carolina at 1306 Greer Street looking at a little uh, three bedroom, one bath home, single car carport. It's a pretty nice house. It's not that dirty. Uh, there's a lot of them are. I think this is going to make somebody a good house. Just go in, clean it up a little bit, decorate to your taste, and it'll be ready to go. A little bit of maintenance here and there. Maybe a heating and air system. I'll tell you about that when we get to it. So let's take our tour. All right, I'm sitting inside the house here at Greer Street, and I always look to the right. Y'all know that by now. And I look at the walls, and you know, a little putty here and there, and they'll be okay. But it's a pretty straightforward house. Ceiling has that famous uh, dust swirl from the ceiling fan. You know, you have to change the filters in these heat and air systems every now and then. And wipe your fan blades off, it doesn't hurt. Um, the carpet's showing some wear pass. I don't know if you can get that clean or not. You'll probably change, this is an older style carpet. All right, let's head into our kitchen area. This looks like those uh, birch cabinets. They look pretty nice. Um, if you want to update them or update the countertop, that'd be fine. It's kind of what you're going to use the house for. I think this floor will come clean. And I don't see any tear marks in it, except at the door to the laundry. It's um, peeled up at a seam there. And here's your laundry area right here. This will be a place for a dining table. Uh, wallpaper on the wall in here. Ceiling looks pretty good. Might want to change that fixture too. Give it a little more modern look if you want to. And uh, pull this wallpaper off. It's solid wallpaper, the whole wall. Now, I've seen some people paint over it, but I always try to get it off myself. All right, we'll head down the hallway, check out some bedrooms and a bath. This is uh, one of the bedrooms. This is a pretty straightforward house. I don't see a lot of issues with it. No bings and bangs and tears. Now listen, uh, when this house was first uh, built, it looks like it had the baseboard heat, but it does have ductwork in it, uh, as I can see the vents. Now I haven't been under the house and I don't plan to go. This is our bath. Floor looks pretty good. Cabinet, countertop. That bathtub probably clean up. I think the ceiling's okay in here. You know, the doors look all right in most of this house too. I hadn't seen one, maybe a little bit down at the bottom. You can fix that with some plastic wood. Here's a larger bedroom. Same story in here, boy, they hung a lot of pictures on that wall. I see about a dozen nails, but that's just a little small hole that has to be taken care of. You're gonna fix that anyway and sand it. There's your duck over there in front of that uh, baseboard heater. I doubt that baseboard heater even works. The neighbor told me um, that they just put a new heat and air in this house and when they got foreclosed, they decided it was theirs and they took it with them. So you'll have to replace that. I think we're gonna need some carpet probably in these back rooms. All right, here's a third bedroom. About the same thing. A lot of pictures hung on the wall here and there. I can see the nails, but it shouldn't be any problem. The uh, ceiling looks okay. And again, this carpet's probably not the style anymore. All right, that's pretty much the inside. This is a pretty straightforward house. So why don't we go outside and take a look around out there. There's just a few things you might want to see. All right, I'm standing on the front porch and you can see the, the other houses look real nice. Even our yard looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna back up. Here's a couple of things. The storm door is actually in place on this house. 
and the glass is in it right now while I'm making the video I see a few shingles right here on this side missing probably need to cut those tree limbs back trim that oak tree up a little higher that would help it these are just things I would look at to do uh, you might want to look at some of this support beams there probably need some paint or wrap this uh, trim work maybe replace a few boards there's that color there blue is not my color uh, here's a good bit of wood right here needs to be fixed my dad painted our house blue now they came out here and put a deck which needs to be gone but there's no door coming out to it so I don't know what that was about listen this is a pretty deep lot it looks like a fence back there it's more of a farm style fence it looks pretty good back here on the back the trim and all does this is where our HVAC unit neighbor said they just decided it was theirs they'd take it with them so they did there's a new few screens on the windows need repair let's look along here a little bit of wood there needs to be fixed maybe some paint or vinyl trim paint the trim around these windows those are the screens flopping in the breeze I guess they've just dried out over time anyway let's come back to the front there's a little bit of rot there where the water runs off so you got a little bit of outside repair to do but all in all this is probably uh, one of the better houses I've seen as far as being clean or cleaner okay We'll wrap this up, come out to the inspection. We'll sell this house to the highest bidder. All right, let's go end up the tour here at Greer Street in Shelby, North Carolina. As you can see, this is a pretty good house. I tried to show you what I thought would need to be done. You may uh, change your mind and want to do something else. Listen, a couple of tips. Before you bid, read the contract package. It has all the information in it, uh, how the um, transaction will transpire all the papers that you're going to be signing to buy this property read it over carefully if you have some questions and need assistance give us a call hey it tells you about the buyer premium added to your bid it tells you about the uh, 5,000 down on auction day balance in 30 days cash uh, not contingent on loans and so if you don't have the money don't bid if you got the money let's bid you can you can bid next time when you get some more money we'll have some more houses uh, I'm pretty sure Listen, uh, first time bidders, bid early in the process. Make sure your bidder number works. And then if you want to wait to the end, that's fine. But wait until the end, try to register, and you do a typo or something, or don't have the right information, the computer will not let you bid. Then you're calling us trying to get us to fix it. We can't fix it in five minutes. So anytime you need help, call. We'll work with you. You can call as often as you need to. We'll walk through every step of the whole process. We want this to be a smooth transaction for you. We've sold thousands of homes using the same system, and we want to keep it going. Inspection day is the day before the bidding ends. You can actually come out to the property and look it over from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's our usual hours. This video is not a home inspection. It's just a tour to let you sit at home, decide whether you want to drive over here or not. Then you do the inspection yourself. Uh, I may have a difference in opinion with you or things I like, things I don't like. It may not be just the opposite for you. So come to the inspection. And on auction day, we're not going to be here in the premises to uh, take your bid. Everything's on the internet. And the place you need to log in is terryhow.com. Hey, I appreciate you looking at the video and taking your time. Hope you'll participate in the auction. We look forward to seeing you there.